Hi, I'm Lindsay from Honey Rider, and you're listening to Six Towns Radio. Classic hits and today's biggest tunes. Six Towns Radio. So it is Six Towns Radio over to the telephones right now. I've got Lindsay on the line from Honey Rider. You okay today? Yeah, I'm great. How are you doing? I'm not too bad at all. Uh, I'm in the studio at Six Towns. You're up an attic. I am currently up an attic in LA Sound Studios, it's called, um, where we made the album, in fact, in Acton in West London. You made the album, um, Marley's Chains, uh, all over the world, didn't you? You did little parts in America, Singapore. We did, actually. We, we, um, we got the... We're very fortunate enough to be able to go over to Thailand and sort of be guinea pigs in um, a studio called Sound that had just been built. And they wanted to, you know, someone, a band to come and use it and check out... Um Oh, sorry, my phone's just gone off. I'm just going to turn it off. Um, and, uh, yeah, and we, so we, we went out for about a month. And we wrote and we recorded there and had an absolutely amazing time. And then we kind of thought we finished the album. But when we got back, um, we got the opportunity, opportunity to go out to Nashville. And we, uh, one of um, Lady Antebellum's producer, Paul Worley, had actually heard one of our tracks. And he said that we should, um, he invited us out there basically to, to, to write with some fantastic writers. Um, and by the end of that trip, we, we, you know, got some, we had some more tracks that we wanted to put on, on, on Marley's Chain. So, yeah, we've been, we, We've, we've done it in very glamorous, we've done some, you know, recording in very glamorous locations and then also uh, acts in West London as well. <laughs> <laughs> so did um, where you were recording influence uh, how you recorded or did you already have it planned what you were going to do? We, uh, as soon as um, we finished the last time, we actually carried on writing. So we did have some songs um, that had already been already been written, but when we went to Thailand, definitely a uh, sound evolved. And, it, you know, because we're on sort of sun-drenched beaches writing music, and you definitely you get a different vibe. Um, and then obviously also going to, to America and going to Nashville, um, you, I was, we were very influenced by the way they write out there. They're very focused on the lyrics. Um, they're kind of, you know, they're almost like poets, the way they write music. They, they, they tell a story. And so that influence us as well so yeah lyrically and melodically it, it absolutely makes a difference where you are and sometimes um you know we we, we wrote a song on the album called beautiful horizon which was um, and, and we did that when we were sitting in a studio um on a very dreary day in london um and we were kind of dreaming of sun drenched beaches and and being somewhere exotic and that and we came up with the the idea for beautiful horizon so yeah it definitely definitely makes a, a huge difference to, to how you write i think um, your new single's called You Can't Say That, and uh, you recorded the video when you were in America, didn't you? I've just watched it today. It's fantastic. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we did You Can't Say That in, in L.A. We were kind of doing a road trip, and, um, and they filmed us um, on the road, and it was, it was amazing, you know, amazing experience. I hadn't been to L.A. before, so, yeah, we, we, we absolutely loved it. Your name's loosely based on a James Bond character, Honey Rider, but would you like to record a Bond theme? I would absolutely love to record a bomb theme. I really that that is an ambition of mine. So yeah, um, I'm hoping that I, I reckon some of the some of the stuff on this album is quite cinematic. Um, it's quite you know epic sounding. So you never know that the the Bond HQ might hear might hear the new album and decide to use one of the tracks one day. You never know. You can live in hope, can't you? Well, a lot of your songs do sound like they could be in films or TV shows, and you have actually had that happen, haven't you? Yes, um, we what we were having our album was being mixed in in uh, LA, and mixer um, a guy called uh, Brad Gildman rang us up and said um, he, that he knew that a show called Body of Proof um, on Living, I think it was Living TV. Um, uh, they ne- needed a track for a certain episode, and he said, um, "Can I put Marley's Chains forward for it?" And we were like, "Absolutely, of course you can." And um, and they, yeah, they use they use that on on one of their episodes. Yeah, I don't think it's actually aired yet, but um, yeah, so that was really really exciting to get that news. A couple of your members uh, are from Stoke, well, around Staffordshire. Uh, Jason and Matt. Yes. Have they pushed any of the Stokey accent on you, or anything else Stoke influence towards they, you? They. They absolutely have. I've been completely influenced by uh, by your eating habits up there, and I'm I'm massively I'm massively into oat cakes. Um, the first time I stayed the night at Matt's house, actually, we next day we had uh, I think we had a few drinks, and then um, uh, the band all had um, oat cakes grilled with bacon and cheese, and it was the bomb. It was amazing. So yeah, so the oat cakes have definitely. Um, 
you know, sort of infiltrated my life. And then also I, I say AOP every time. Well, no, I didn't do that properly. AOP. Every time I see them, I say that now. So, yeah, definitely I'm getting some of the, yeah, I'm getting some, some uh, influence going on. Yeah, AOP duck. That's what you want to say. AOP duck. Yes, you need to finish it, don't you? And also I can say, no, I, I can start off the phrase, cough, kick, blow, again, a woe. I can't remember the rest of it, but I know the first bit of that anyway. But I haven't attempted to learn the entire phrase. So I'm bound to get it wrong. You're speaking to the right guy about oat cakes. I do um, a thing every year called Oat Cake Day on August the 8th. We try and get an official day for Oat oh, Cake Day. That's my mum's birthday. She, she, she'd love to get involved. She'd love, a, she'd love an oat cake, an oat cake fest. We've got a website of loads of celebrities holding a sign saying I support Oat Cake Day on there. We've got um, no people like Ricky Gervais, uh, Rio Ferdinand, quite a topical one at the moment. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy Carr's on there. Uh, <laughs> really? Topical. Oh, can, I, can we get on it then? We got a photo of us eating our favourite oat cake or something. What, what do we have to do? I'll tell the boys. That would be brilliant. Thank you very much for having a chat with me today, Lindsay. I know you're busy in the studio Hi. today. It's been lovely. Appreciate you wanting to talk to us. It's great. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Really, really cool. Take care, Drop. Bye.